guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. LaMelo Ball, born August 22, 2001, is an American professional basketball player with the Charlotte Hornets of the National Basketball Association or NBA in short. He was picked by the Hornets in the third overall selection of the 2020 NBA Draft. Ball started high school at Chino Hills High School, California, where he won the state championship and gained national success as a freshman. Here is his lifestyle and net worth. Number 4. Beginning of a Prodigy Before his junior season, a coaching disagreement caused him to leave Chino Hills to sign with Lithuania's pre night football team. In 2018, he played in the Junior Basketball Association JBA, a league founded by his father, before returning to high school as a senior at the Spire Academy in Geneva, Ohio. Former UCLA pledge, he was a five-year prospect who opted to forego college basketball in the face of eligibility issues and in 2019, he earned the NBL Rookie of the Year for the Illawarra Hawks of the National Basketball League in Australia. LaMelo Ball was taught in basketball by his dad LeVar as soon as he could walk. At the age of four, he began playing the sport with his older brothers Lonzo and Leangelo faced with a lot of older competitors. He also played flag football with his brothers at the age of five but preferred to concentrate on basketball. In 2013, when in seventh grade, Ball started playing with his brothers on the Big Ballers VXT. The 17-year-old AAU team launched and coached by his parents. The band, which was not funded by a big shoe manufacturer, didn't participate in top AAU circuits and only took part in local competitions. <laughs> Number 3. Celebrity Lifestyle It was something I grew into. It felt real normal, it felt like my life, Ball says. Few people had a camera in front of him at such a young age for such a long time as LaMelo Ball did. Starting as a young teenager in Chino Hills with his older brothers, Ball had a camera in his face and a spotlight on his game. Today, almost half a dozen years out of those early years, Ball has transitioned into the lifestyle of living in the public eye. Ball's capacity to draw a crowd is unprecedented for an 18-year-old. During his short tenure in the NBL, Ball helped the league set both viewership and attendance records in different competitions, and he did all that while he was in the center of a bubble of supporters and the public swarming around him all season long. Not every youngster could withstand the strain Ball had, and he's adapted to it with a disposition much like his older brother Lonzo. They both have charismatic personalities outside the public eye, but settle for a calm, relaxed attitude in front of the cameras. It's how they've adapted to being in the spotlight for so many years, and they seem to have it good. What's it feel like to get that kind of love and support when you come down here and you see that many fans out here? Uh, you know, it's for sure a blessing. You know, I just appreciate everybody supporting and stuff like that. Number two, Ball Family. In virtually all sources, the encounter of the Ball family in Lithuania with BC Vytautas was a disappointment. After just one year overseas in Europe, Leangelo and Lamella Ball were forced to return to America, mostly with their tail tucked between their legs after they struggled to make a lot of impact on the team or league. While the immediate results of the decision to move overseas were mostly negative, the long-term effects eventually created some positive effects for the Ball family and in particular for Lamelo. I felt it helped me in the long run. I grew up a lot. After doing that, I felt I could go anywhere. Lithuania has largely acted as a ball crash course in the lifestyle of becoming a professional basketball player. The family's Facebook show Ball in the Family revealed how Ball lived in Lithuania and while it was a mess at the moment, it was a learning opportunity that he almost definitely relied on when he joined the National Basketball League once. In the same interview, Ball spoke about the decision to join the NBL and why it was a simple one considering his past experience in Lithuania. So while it was a move that didn't yield good dividends at the time, it was a move that paid at least some dividends in the future. With the basketball universe now seems to revolve around these three brothers. Let it fly, Lonzo. First there's Lonzo, 
the oldest and freshman maestro of the UCLA Bruins. Long, long three is good. Then Leangelo, the big man Chino Hill senior. And one. And LaMelo, the sophomore prodigy who recently made national headlines by dropping 92 points. Number one, career. This chase was never preferred by LaMelo. He never had a stay. All my life, I felt I was just supposed to go to the NBA, you know, he asks. Ever since I was born, I was going to be an NBA star, he says. I was going to be the best basketball player to ever play. Much of the boys who catch the peach dotted leather toss free throws into the air from their beds share the fantasy. LaMelo has an exceptionally close grip and is a gifted passerby. He's an imaginative, flashy, and indistinctive playmaker. The stuff I see is NBA stuff. His IQ is amazing, says Aaron Brooks, a 10-year NBA veteran who played alongside LaMelo in Illawarra before he ripped down his Achilles at the end of October. There's no doubt about it. He's ready for the NBA. His ceiling is so high. The NBA has benefited from the creativity of LaMelo winning ESPN and Facebook deals to stream the games. Brittany Gray, marketing and media manager of Hawks, says the news of LaMelo's signing has generated 1.6 billion impressions through NBL's web and social networks. Over a million viewers in the U.S. streamed LaMelo's debut on Facebook against the Brisbane Bullets, an NBL record. This is the same script for LaMelo, just a different continent. People have made money off this kid for years, says Jackson, who played in the NBA from 1996 to 2006. People here seem to still discuss LaMelo's social media after his global presence, so much so that he's almost become a tweet, become an Instagram tale. It's a bit like our spotlight on the world, says Larry Kesselman, NBL owner and CEO. Because when people take a peek because of LaMelo to see what we have, you don't necessarily realize we exist. Yet he doesn't like all of that as much publicity as he draws. He's going to play basketball. He's bubbly, yet soft-spoken, polite but protective, trusting few. When he beams, you can see a light shimmer, the rhinestone of a cross that he lashed on a tooth at the corner of his lips. And a steal by LaMelo, off to the races. There's your first basket of the ball yeah. game. Do let us know some of your favorite LaMelo Ball moments in the NBA in the comments section below while also remembering to show us your support by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already so you can catch up on more NBA related goodness in the future. And with that, I'll be catching you guys later in another video. Bye now!